from the WDEF News 12 Sports Desk, brought to you by Xfinity. You're watching Touchdown Friday Night, sponsored in part by your Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union and Zaxby's. After losing their first game of the year to Marion County, Grundy County racked up a combined 90 points in winning their next two games. Tonight, they tried to keep their high-scoring act going against Silverdale. Silverdale had the lead at the half, but they wanted to extend it. So they're going to pitch it out to Tanner Webb. He throws a nice pass to Nathan Keelan. That would be a big pickup there for Silverdale later on the drive. As always, hey, doesn't get better than that. It's Tanner Webb again, looking like a certain guy in high school, not me. That led to a Silverdale field goal, but Grundy tries to put it together. A drive of their own. Alex Nunley on the reverse. He gets a big pickup. And that puts the Yellow Jackets in scoring territory. But Tanner Webb, that guy's good. Must be the name. Comes up with the interception. And Silverdale, though, they hang on to win it by a final of 10 to 6. One last look at the scoreboard is Christian Heritage over Gordon Lee, 33 to nothing. Elsewhere, it was Tryon over Lafayette, 29-21. Bledsoe County over York Institute 35-34 and Sonoraville 28-10 over North Merck. Dane County and Richland, we don't have that final score. Oh my goodness. Uh, we thought we so had them close. all. So oh well. Close. We'll see you next week. Enjoy.